uranium glass or not uranium glass? That is the question we'll be finding out a bit later on in the video, along with Belle takes a big sausage and Chris finds a holy grail. Stay tuned. We're at the Tor Bay Sunday car boot sale and it is freaking freezing out, isn't it? <laughs> She's lost the world to live already. Well, Belle's joined us, as you can see. We've managed to drag her out of bed. She's here in body, not so much in spirit. Are you going to speak today? Hi. There you go. Let's see what we can find. What's this? Hand warmer. Woo! Hand warmer to warm your nuts. <laughs> Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to Cooking the Haydens. I'm Carboot Chris. I'm a full-time eBay reseller. I do use other platforms as well, but predominantly eBay. And today I'm outsourcing at Torbay car boot sale to see if we can find some bargains to resell online for profit. I like the look of this Laurel and Hardy box set, but I'm just waiting for the lady to stop nattering on over there with a customer. Uh, it seems to be going on forever, to be honest with you. I might actually be able to get a price for this. There's something else very interesting on the floor as well. Any time today. Any time today. Yep, we'll come back to that. Okay, I'm just going to butt in here. How much is that one, please? Sorry. Sorry. Oh, uh, that's 15. 15 on that. How much is your cake uh, uh, that's thing? Pound. pound. It's brand new. That's no more Mr. Oh. Nice Duck. <laughs> I'll take that one, please. I'll take that one. Thank you. So there you have it, the cake stand. It's a simple tip, but it's effective. How much is that one? It's on eBay for 15 plus, I'm looking for 10 off. Okay, no problem. So the cake turntable is a perfect prize for the duck race. So keep an eye out for that and we might see you at uh, the live show on a Monday night. How much is that one? Uh, that's 18 pound. Pay 55 pound for it. I think they've gone up to 59. Mm. Uh, but I only took the small one out. Yeah. Little bottle that was with it. Okay. That gold panning thing Sorry. probably would have been decent, but not for £18. That's too much for me. Nah. Yeah, it's all right. yeah, we've got a shark hoover. Now, these things can be expensive. I know, because we just bought a shark hoover. And it was bloody expensive. There's no way for anything else. How much is this one, please? It's, it needs a bit of repair. It's not working very well at the time. Fiver. <laughs> Shame I don't know what I'm doing with Hoovers. Five quid. Yeah. What's up with it then, do you know? I don't know, it's just not picking up very well. Okay. 
Yeah. But it turns on and everything and it runs. Yeah, it turns yeah. on. Yeah. Is that the compartment at the side where it collects dust and it's tiny, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I just don't know really what I'm thinking. Take a chance on it for a fiver. If it turns on, give it a good clean up. Like this. Do you work on them at all? No, it's just for your use. Not really. No, just yeah, yeah just for us. Just wondering if we can clean it up a bit. We can get it to work a bit better. Yeah, just don't know really. Go on, we'll get, we'll have a go. Ah, now here's the uh, glass that you saw on the intro. Now my immediate thought is uranium glass. But this stuff looks decent, doesn't it? I didn't bring my UV torch, which I bought especially for occasions like this. When we're at a boot sale, I could test it there and then and see if I'm wasting my money or not. Um, but it looks decent. I'm going to go and speak to the chap, see what he wants for it, see if he knows anything about it. Maybe... He knows it's uranium or not. Maybe he just thinks it's green glass. Let's find out. We'll, we'll go and have a little chit chat. How much is your green glass set at the bottom there? Uh, the uranium. How much do I want to pack it up and take it away? Six pounds for all of it. Is it uranium? Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. I forgot my torch today. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll shine bright for you. Six quid. Six quid for all of it, because it's made of glass and I might break it. Oh, I won't go to five, because I will. For that, I can pack it. I'm somewhere next week. Well, he said six pound there, and surely for those, what, four or five pieces, it's got to be worth six pound. It's surely a no-brainer. However, if it turns out... I mean, even if it turns out not to be uranium glass, it's probably worth it anyway, isn't it? Just as some nice glassware. What you need to do is stay tuned because we're going to test this glass with the UV light later on in this video and we'll see for sure if it was a fail or not. Oh, yeah, if you have, yeah, cheers. How much is that one? Two pounds. Well, it's one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, now go get going. Okay. What else have you got? What's this, a flag? Yeah, there's a couple on it. There's a... Uh... One of the stars and strikes or something like that, anyway. Yeah, it was overwhelming when, when I had to hire a van to really well bring the stuff home to my place. Oh, Christ. The only things I did keep were the stamps and a couple of. Yeah. If I can do a good bungle deal on this Elvis stuff, I'll be very happy. Um, there's a new film coming out soon, Tom Hanks film, of course, which <coughs> looks really good. That might inflate the prices of Elvis stuff, hopefully. And while I'm looking through this, there's a chap who comes right up close next to me. He's also interested in this Elvis stuff, but back off. First dibs, mate, first dibs. Yeah, you always wanted to go to racing. Never, got never made it. What a shame. We used to send off uh, what the stamps are. We used to send off the uh, racing in America. 
I can't guarantee whether any of it works. Yeah. I'd say it's, it's just been overwhelmed. He was a completist. <laughs> was related, was it. I assume that must have been a, a number plate that was relevant to Elvis in some way or another. Mm. I'm just digging out some stuff. Would if, see if you want to do a deal on some of it? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, like I say, every penny will go to the air ambulance. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. <sighs> must be upwards of fifty, sixty pictures at home. Right, Christ. I'm guilty of having a collection of Helvis Mumford's at home because I used to be in the bank. <laughs> Or Not really, no. no. It's just like picking up interesting stuff. To look at, I think he's probably one of the most handsome men ever, you know, if you yeah. look at some of these film stars and things like that, and you look at Elvis, he's got quite a chiseled profile. And I just loved his music because it covered all aspects. Got what did you do on that lot? What have we got? Because I was going to ask about three, four pound each okay. for the plates. So you've got, f what, four plates there? So uh, there's one, two, three, four plates. Got the in, flags and stuff here. 12, 15. Go on, I'll do 20. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. I've got to put on a separate column because that's like the same. Uh, Don't worry, yeah. So if it's going to a good cause yeah. as well, that's well, great. Thank you very much. I mean, yeah, right. you wouldn't believe sometimes when I tell people, I'm genuine, it's a hand on a Oh, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> went out just before they uh, went out of Universal, had not we? Just before, whatever it is, just before they started doing the rides. Is it Universal? Yeah, yeah. Universal, yeah, it's great. Love it. Uh, how much you know is that? that? Is? Uh, it's just a, it's just an ornament. I'll tell you what it is. It's um, it trying to place up in uh, Warwick, and they did like Disney things and all that. And I think the plaque was about fifteen pound. It's two mm. pound if you're interested. Two pound. But they they did figurines, and I started collecting the Disney figurines. I'll take that. When we move yeah, go on. Bungalow, Fair enough. Because we used to have a big house, didn't we? Thank Cheers. Right. Might just give it a little bit of oh, Yeah, up. thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Well, I've made two pounds now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a pretty fair price on the Elvis gear. Um, twenty pound for the whole bungle. Um, surely can't go wrong with that. How much is your super dry? That one's eight pounds. Eight, and your jacket? That one's ten. Ten.
barber hat, that one is five. Um, pounds, pounds, and a couple of quid. So, five, thirteen quid. What did you do on both? Just trying to thoroughly check this jacket, make sure there's no zips missing, any damage, all that stuff. Uh, but it all looks good. Um, so we're coming up to the end of the boot sale footage. Stay tuned, stay with us uh, for the full haul and the result of the uranium glass test. Go on, I'll take those. Thank you. Right, we're done at Tor Bay. And um, Belle's got a big sausage. This is just for Steve. Oh yeah, we, you know what, <laughs> we hardly ever buy food at the boot sale, hardly ever, ever, ever. But we don't even eat at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's, it's so cold, I just needed something, something big, meaty and warm and hot inside me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's reconvene back at the studio, <laughs> that was perfectly timed and we'll see what we picked up today. See you in a minute. Okay, so we're back from the Sunday Torbay car boot sale. They have one on a Saturday, one on a Sunday, and they're in two different locations. So you get two bites of the cherry, really. And actually, Belle said to me, oh, why, why do you go to the same one on a Sunday? Well, there are different people out there at uh, each one. Uh, sometimes there's a few of the same that you see. You think, oh, I remember seeing that yesterday. But on the whole, there's quite a bit different. So it's worth sometimes going to both. Um, anyway, let's get on with the haul. Everything that we picked up, um, we didn't do quite as well as the Saturday, but we still got some good stuff. Um, I'll start off with this Sony Cybershot. It cost me £2. Um, it comes with a memory card, battery, it works, and a battery charger and a manual. Only £2. I think it's going to be worth about £25. I also got a bundle of um, Harry Potter stuff. I paid £10 for everything that you're about to see. And I didn't get it on camera, so I do apologise, but at least this will be something new to you. Um, a cup and saucer. I think some of this is, is Primark stuff, but still for £10, it's got to be worth it. Uh, limited edition cup and saucer. Um, I got these and enamel pins. It says Geek Gear Wizardry. I'm guessing this is some kind of loot crate box. These probably came out of. Um, that's a house coin. I mean, I might end up bundling this stuff together myself. Uh, I'll put this in there because it's... I'm not even sure this is Harry Potter, but a nature feather. I'm not sure that's even Harry Potter. Came with it anyway. A scarf. And to be fair, I don't I don't recognise the the emblem on it. But a tie. Um, wanted Bellatrix Lestrange picture geek gear licensed exclusive. So it's one of these boxes, a bit like Loot Crate. I think some of this has come from. Um, a little charm bracelet. Nothing amazing about it, but it can all go together. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, I got this uh, metallic gold um, mug. Actually come from HMV at some point. And little figure. Sorry, my nose is still going. I don't even, I don't know what that is. Any idea? Bella probably know. I've not got a clue what that's meant to be. Now, this plush is good. I don't know his name or her name. Harry Potter plush. Uh, this will get me my money back and put me in profit. Uh, this is probably worth about 20 to 25 pound on its own. So that's a nice pickup. Um, there's also a key ring. So some of this is bundling. Um, a Geek Gear 
card. Uh, another mug. This is a spinner mug. Harry Potter Hogwarts spinner mug. And I've got two ones. Now you have to be careful with ones. Oh, sorry. Um, because they are faked a lot. Um, you can get fake Potter ones from China and stuff. You've got to be very careful about that. That looks like a nice one. A nice wand. Uh, this one, not sure about, but I need to check these out. Came with the bundle. And also, I think these are from Primark. These are like lights, honey dukes, sort of lighty things. But all that was £10, so don't tell me you wouldn't have bought it for £10. There was people sniffing around the mugs and stuff, but nobody bought anything. And I just went in and said how much for all the Harry Potter stuff, and um, £10. Now, I bought some um, clothing, a couple of items here. Um, I got this super dry hoodie, which is quite nice. Paid a fiver for this. It was came with a North Face jacket, which I'm going to show you in a second. So I paid a fiver for this. So maybe 20 to 25 on the hoodie. Um, and this North Face jacket is a Gore-Tex jacket, which is always good to know. Good for the uh, waterproof properties. So this is a nice ladies jacket. Uh, what size is it? It's only a small ladies, but it's in great condition. I did pay £10 for it. I think it'll be worth about 40 to 50 Um, I got a Alba Walkman cassette player. I've not tested it, so I don't know if it works. It cost me £2. Comes with the headset. If it works, maybe £15 on that. Also, I bought a Fire Stick 4K. I'm not sure if I got it on camera, but I paid £15 for this. It's new and sealed. So that has got to be worth it because these are these are going for about, what, £40, £45 for a 4K Fire Stick. Um, we have one downstairs uh, in our living room, but we don't have one upstairs in the bedroom. So I think I'm probably going to keep this and get it on upstairs. Now, I picked up this. Gremlins 2 um, plush, cost me £5, uh, I think it's worth about, about £20 to £25, um, but I may keep it, I mean I'm looking at my shelf up here, my little display shelf, it might appear on there, um, from the same seller, I paid £5 for that uh, Gremlins plush, but I paid £1 for this little fella. One pound. It's little Flat Eric, and we all know if you're a reseller, Flat Eric's are great to pick up. I've picked up a few of the normal size ones in the past, and they normally go for about £40. This little fella is an official beanbag buddy, and he's only tiny. Look at him, he's so cute. Uh, it cost me one pound. I think he's still going to be worth somewhere around the £40 mark. And he's still got his tag, so that's a bonus. But I'm really, really torn as to whether to keep him or not. I think for now, for, for this video. There you go, Eric. You can, If you can sit nicely there, you can watch the show. You can watch the video. I picked up, um, or Bell found, this pair of Judge double walled latte glasses trust her to find bloody latte glasses um they look interesting they cost two pound and uh i think they're worth about 15 pounds brand new now i also found a bundle of elvis stuff well, you can do now elvis stuff does do pretty well depending on what you pick up but there's also a new Elvis film coming out with Tom Hanks. It's a Tom Hanks film. And um, Tom Hanks isn't Elvis, by the way. But he's in it. I think he's Elvis's manager or something like that. But it looks great. And that means that Elvis stuff might be on the up. So keep your eye out for Elvis stuff. Everything you're about to see, I paid £20 for. And I'm not really sure of the resale value. But it's going to be more than £20, that's for sure. 
The first thing, this number plate, let me know if you know what the significance of this number plate is, because I do not know. But it, I, I picked it up as part of the bundle. He did, the guy didn't know either. He wasn't sure. But there's got to be some significance to that number plate. And, but I don't know what it is. I bought this um, lot of um, Elvis. Uh, they're like fanzine programmes um, from the early 80s. And look original. This came as part of the deal. I think I'm going to bundle these in like lots of four maybe. So maybe like four for £10 or something like that. Hopefully they should be okay. I don't always do well on plates, but Elvis plates, I'm hoping these will go a bit better. Uh, this is all part of the deal. So that one, that one. These are all limited editions. They've got numbers printed on the back. Uh, that one, that's 1988. Doesn't even look like Elvis, that, does it? And this one, number 5051, Graceland plate. That's all part of it. And I got this cushion, which is very nice. This is, I think this is what attracted me to the stall. I saw this and I thought, ooh, Elvis. Um, we'll go and have a look at that. I picked up that as well. Um, and I think this is either a, a, a table, like a cloth or a tea towel or something. That's all right as well. That's not bad. It's all got value. Just how much, I'm not sure. And there's this flag thing. Uh, which side is it? I think it's that way, actually. Quite a big one. There you go. Not really sure about that. But collectible items like that should do pretty well. Um, also this sort of pennant flag. Quite nice, isn't it? And uh, Elvis Cushion. Package is a little bit damaged, but interesting item. And plus this uh, hound dog, uh, which sings. Now, I need to test it. If it works, this will get me my £20 back, because I think this is going to be worth about £20 at least, maybe more. So I'm hoping that works. And that's all the Elvis stuff. Now, coming up now... No more Mr. Oh. Nice Duck. <laughs> The next duck race on a Monday night on the live show, this is going to be the prize. And what better than an item that I've featured on a recent 60 second tips video. It's a cake turntable. Oh, you know what I've just noticed? It's not only any cake turntable. I didn't even see this. It's a Disney one. It's got a little Disney sign there. I didn't see that before. That could make it even better. You know what? You can still have it. I was going to swap it for my shitty one. But you can still have that. It's a Disney cake turntable. If you don't want to use it for your photographs, you can make cakes with it. I'm just one of those people. I come home and all I want is start to get... I just love cake. I just love cake. I just love a bit of cake. Everyone's a winner. Now, the last lot of stuff I'm going to show you. It's the uranium glass, or what I am hoping, please be uranium glass. I hardly ever see it. I found that bit of uranium glass the other time. It got destroyed by GSP. This lot, if it turns out to be uranium glass, will not be going on GSP. It'll be UK only, don't worry. So it was two lots. One was a big set, and the other was this on a different stall. And I picked this up. I didn't have my torch with me. I didn't have it with me. Ugh. Somebody told me, take a UV torch, you can test it there and then. I didn't have it with me. So I bought this stuff on a whim. So here we go. I have not tested this, I promise you. I have not tested it. We're going to do it live now and we'll see if we've got a, a fail or not. Here we go. This is this was 50p, this item. So, so if it's a fail, it's a fail.
It's a fail. We've got no glow whatsoever. This is just crappy green glass. I doubt it's worth anything. It might still be worth something. I'll check it out nonetheless to make sure that I'm not missing out on, you know, something that's worth money. But I don't think that's going to be worth money. So there you go. That's a fail. Never mind. Now, the other lot is a set. It cost me £6. He said, the guy said it was uranium glass. Um, it looked like it. We'll start off with this is it a candlestick holder, candle holder. Here we go. Ready? Yes, it is. It's uranium glass. Look at the glow on it. That's the difference. This glows, the other one didn't glow. There it is. It glows quite a lot. It's good. Now there's a second one, so I'm going to assume that that is, yeah. It's all good. Oh, I, I am relieved that I didn't just buy a load of green glass. <laughs> Little pot, that's uranium glass as well. You can see the glow on it. Hopefully you can see it on camera because I can see it perfectly. I'm not sure if you can, but I hope you can. So a nice little dish. Uh, this, this kind of serving plate, is it? Something like that. Yeah, it's glowing. Can you see that? Glows under the UV light. It's worth getting yourself one of these. Somebody recommended it to me. Um, but yeah, that's good. It glows. So this lot could be worth a bit, to be honest, going off what my last bit of uranium glass sold for. And I've got this bowl as well. And this looks... It's not glowing quite as much as the other, but there is a glow in there. Can you see it? Can you see it? There's a there's a slight glow. It's not as prominent as the last lot. In fact, this actually, this looks almost newer than the rest. Doesn't look like it's, you know, like part of the same lot. But there's certainly the glow there. Can you see? Hopefully you can. Anyway, oh, I am relieved. I really am relieved that that is... It's not a dud. The first one was only 50p, so it might still be worth money, but I doubt it. That is everything that we picked up today at the Sunday Torbay car boot sale. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe and um, hit the like button. The point of subscribing is so that you don't miss a video. And I, I don't really just say it for the normal videos, mainly the live shows. You don't miss one then. Um, you'll get a notification when I'm about to go live. And that's really important because you got the duck race. And you might win a, win a prize on a Monday night if you come along to the duck race. So, along with Eric, we'll see you again soon. Give us a thumbs up. See ya. Bye.